that's like. How does it help you understand animals and people? I'm what's called an object visualizer. Everything I think about is a picture. Um, and then things that interest me, I'm it's sort of like having little uh, cell phone camera pictures. That's my memory. Things that interest me, I take pictures of them. Now, that helped me in my work with animals. Because in the very first work I did with cattle, I got into the shoots to see what cattle were seeing. And they were afraid of things like shadows, puddles, uh, pieces of rope hanging down, maybe a vehicle parked next to the fence, kind of visual distractions, a reflection off of metal, a little piece of metal that jiggled, little things we tend to not notice. Now, at the time that I was doing this, my early 20s, I did not know that other people thought in words. And that's why they thought it was odd to get in the shoots. So being a visual thinker helped me with animals because animals live in a sensory-based world. I mean, think about your dog. He's smelling something. That's like going down to the local coffee shop and getting all the gossip. What is the animal feeling? For example, the octopus lives in a touch-based world. And there's research now that shows that the object visualizer and the more mathematical pattern thinker are actually very different kinds of thinking. And I discussed that in my book, Visual Thinking.